What's going on guys, T-Mart here and today I'm going to be doing a head-to-head -head comparison of the two flagship gaming headsets for Astro Gaming, the A40s and the A50s. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, I put out some unboxing videos of their new headsets that just came out recently. You guys really enjoyed it, but some of you guys were a little bit confused as to which headset worked with which console and which one did this and that and you know whatever. So I want to sit down and do kind of like a, a straight up head-to-head -head comparison video and clear up all the questions you guys may have as well as at the end of this video, I may have a giveaway for you guys. So anyway, starting off here, Boom, here's the table we're gonna be taking a look at. We've got the Astro A50s, the Astro A40 Xbox One Edition, and then the Astro A40. The Xbox One Edition is a little bit different than the regular A40s. So, uh, starting off, platform. Which ones do these work with? Well, the Astro A50s are available on Xbox One, PS4, 360, PS3, and PC. The A40 Xbox One Edition is obviously only available for the Xbox One, and then the regular A40 Edition works for the PS4, the 360, the PS3, and the PC. This regular A40 can also work on the Xbox One, but only for incoming sounds. You can't talk outwards. If you want to play and you just want to be able to hear the game sound, you can use the regular A40s on the Xbox One, but you won't be able to chat because it takes a custom cable that they don't have. So uh, keep that in mind. Now, uh, next up, price. A50s go for 300 bucks. A40 Xbox One Edition is only 200 bucks, so that's a pretty good deal. And then the regular A40s are 250 bucks. Now, uh, next up for wired and wireless, this is where it gets a little bit confusing. So for the A50s, it's truly 100% wireless for the PS4, the PS3, and the PC. There is something that like plugs into the back of your console, the back of your PC, but the headset is actually like fully wireless, no wires at all. For the Xbox One and the 360, it's technically wireless. Now, you don't have anything holding you down to your desk or anything, but on the Xbox consoles, you will have a cord going from your headset down, plugging into the bottom of your controller if you want to be able to chat. So keep that in mind. It's not fully wireless, but you still can get up and move around. But the PS4, PS3, and PC, it is absolutely 100% fully wireless. Now, uh, moving on to the Astro A40 Xbox One Edition. Is it wired or wireless? Again, it's a technical wireless. There will be a cord coming down from the side of your headset going into controller, but you can still get up and move around and it's no problem there. Now, uh, as for the regular A40 Edition, this one is straight up wired, man. Like it, 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 There's no getting around it. You know, you have cords going from your headset into the mix amp, your controller into the mix amp, all kinds of stuff. You aren't going to be able to move around, so keep that in mind. Now, next up, as for power, the A50s run off a lithium battery. It lasts for about 10 hours of playtime, so every time you get off, just plug that bad boy in, make sure it's charging. You're going to be good to go next time you play. The A40 Xbox One Edition is really, really nice because it runs off your controller battery. You never have to worry about charging it or anything like that. It's powered off the battery in your controller, especially if a wireless controller, you never have to worry about anything at all, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then finally, for the Astro A40 Normal Edition, it's plugged into your you know, computer console via USB. So you will have wires, but you never have to worry about batteries, which is pretty cool. Now, uh, next up, custom speaker tags. This is actually a pretty big deal. One of the coolest things about Astro is that you can completely customize your speaker tags that go on the side of your headset. You can make them say your name, a logo you like, you know, anything like that as long as it's not, you know, copyright, you know, protected or anything like that. And I think it's only like 25 bucks or something like that. So you can really make your headset yours and really make it stand out, which is pretty cool. The A50s, there is no customization. You cannot do that. For the A40 Xbox One Edition and the regular A40 Edition, you can do that. So if you want to be able to customize your headset, make sure you guys keep that in mind. Uh, and then finally, as for the colors that these headsets come in, the A50s, there's a black and green, which looks really sleek. There's a white and green, or there's like a Halo-themed Spartan, which is like a, a military green with some gold in it. it. Looks really, really good. You guys can see it on the site. Uh, for the A40 Xbox One Edition, you can get light gray and light blue. That It's like a, a color combination. That's the only combination you can get, which is, uh, it looks good, but I wish there were more colors. And then finally, for the regular A40s, you've got dark gray, light gray, orange, or yellow. So. Uh, those are your choices there. But anyway, yeah, there you have it, guys. Those are the most important factors to consider 
when choosing which Astro headset is best for you. Hopefully I was able to help you guys out and clear up some of the questions you may have had. Now, uh, remember guys, I do have a 5% off discount link. The first link down in the description, if you click that bad boy, it's going to take you to the Astro site and anything you put in your cart is automatically going to have 5% taken off, which is really, really useful. So if you guys plan on getting one of these things, then I highly recommend that. And also, if you're planning on getting one of these things before the holidays, you gotta act pretty fast. You guys can see Astro actually just tweeted out this graphic right here the other day. Uh, if you order before the 17th is over, UPS Ground will get there in time by Christmas. Uh, if you order the 18th or 19th, you gotta do second day air to get there in time. And then finally, if you order the 20th or the 21st, you gotta do next day air in order to get there in time. So, uh, just keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And before we go, I did mention a giveaway, right? Right, baby. We're gonna be doing a giveaway. So, I'm not sure how many headsets I'm going to give away yet. I'll definitely do one. I'll probably end up doing, you know, two, three, four, maybe even five, depending on how many inches we get. But uh, how to enter, I wanted to make it super simple. The second link down in the description, just click that. It's going to take you to a Google form. You put in your name and your email address. That's it. That's all you got to do. And then about a week from now, I'll decide to draw names. I'll use a random number generator, pick a random person, send you an email, ask for, you know, your information, address, stuff like that. And I'll send you your choice of headset out to your house for free. Just because I love you guys and I love to give back. So uh, make sure you guys enter that giveaway. Make sure you guys use my coupon code if you decide to buy yourself a headset. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.